Love to you, beautiful being. My name is Melanie Santos. I am a multidisciplinary sacred artist who creates art and education based on the mind, body, spirit, and energetic connection. In this guided meditation, we're going to check in with two very important aspects of us. Two aspects of us that have a lot to do with our harmony and our inner alignment, our ego and our spirit. Make space for yourself, either lying or sitting down, and allow your body to soften and your gaze to gently close. With the palms of your hands facing up, draw your awareness to the rhythm of your breath. With each slow, deep inhale through your nose, Imagine any tension melting away. Feel your belly gently rise and fall as you inhale deeply and exhale completely, letting your belly deflate and sinking you deeper and deeper into your space. Gently bring your awareness to your body. Notice the points of contact where your body meets the surface beneath you. Feel the weight of your body, the gentle rise and fall of your belly and chest with each breath, and the rhythm of your heart beating within. Continue to breathe deeply, inhaling through your nose, allowing the breath to expand and contract your belly as the air comes in and out. As you do this, visualize a bright golden light in your chest, glowing from your heart space. This is your heart's light, your essence, your heart's electromagnetic field. With each breath, imagine this light growing brighter and brighter, expanding with every inhale and exhale, filling your entire body and enveloping you in warmth and protection. As your light continues to grow, feel it expanding beyond your body filling the room or space that you're in. Feel it illuminating every corner, every crevice, casting out any darkness, releasing any tension, and freeing you from any energies that don't belong to you and that don't serve your highest and greatest good. With each inhale and exhale, Feel your light expanding even further, radiating out into the streets, filling the city that you're in, illuminating every nook and cranny of the state that you're in, continuing to grow and filling the entire country, and continuing to expand rapidly until it has enveloped the entire Earth, bathing our planet in your light. Breathe into this. Feel the energy of your light growing stronger, brighter with every breath, casting away any negativity and any fear, and anchoring you and your energy with peace and protection as we journey on safely. Now bring your awareness back to your breath. Let it slow down as you become as still as possible. Feel the buzzing of your light, the energy coursing through your mind, body, and spirit. In this stillness, 
feel the connection to your body and also feel the connection to your spirit, the essence of who you truly are. Allow yourself to be guided by this inner light, your inner wisdom. As human beings, it can be very easy to get wrapped up in the day-to-day, so much so that we forget that we are spirits incarnate, meaning that we are spirits, souls with higher wisdom and higher purpose assignments, living nuanced experiences in human bodies. It can be very easy to forget that we are multifaceted beings allowing parts of us to stay dormant and other parts of us to take over. Together, we're going to check in with two manifestations of these parts of us, our ego and our spirit. Our ego shapes our personality, giving us our identity, that which makes us unique. It's a really essential part of our being helping us navigate the world and interact with others. The ego creates the boundaries that protect us and guides us in making decisions for our well-being. However, sometimes the ego can become overactive, driven by fear and the need for control to keep us safe from stress and danger. In this state, it creates separation not only from others, but also from our true self. This disconnection can lead us away from the peace and clarity of our spirit, leaving us feeling isolated and divided. When the ego takes the lead, it can overshadow our spirit completely. Our spirit is pure. It is the energy of our pure essence, the God within us expressing itself through our mind, body, and energy centers. This is the part of us that is connected to divine wisdom and our purpose as spirits incarnate in this lifetime. It's the still, quiet voice within that encourages us to trust, to love, and to grow forever guiding us towards our highest potential and our highest possible existence. This part of us is also known as our higher self, the highest possible version of who we are. You can also think of it as that future version of ourselves, the one that exists beyond our wildest dreams possessing every resource, every connection, and all the wisdom we could ever need. In another lifetime, in another universe, this higher self is fully connected to spirit. It is the ultimate expression of who we are. Our higher self guides us, leading us towards our true purpose and the fulfillment of our divine potential. Continuing to breathe intentionally and be as still as possible, we're going to bring both of these aspects into view. In your stillness, focus on the space between your eyebrows, your third eye, through which you can perceive beyond our 3D world. Breathe into this space and start to visualize a car that is parked on a road in nature. Nothing around it, just a car on a road in nature. As you visualize your car, look at the details of it. Notice what kind of car it is. 
what color it is and where it is in nature. Now gently open your perspective to invite your ego and your spirit to join in the car. Notice what side of the car each of them are entering and where they sit down. Which is in the driver's seat? Is the other in the passenger seat? or the back seat. This car represents you, your human experience on Earth. Ideally, we want our higher self at the wheel. But if you find that your ego is currently in control, there's absolutely no need to worry. Stay with yourself. Hold the visualization. Study your breath. And allow yourself to be fully present in this moment. If your ego is in the driver's seat, take a moment to observe what emotions or thoughts are present with it. Are they tense? Are they fearful? Are they resistant? Take note without judgment. Now shift your awareness to your spirit. Notice how your spirit is responding. If your spirit is behind the wheel, take a moment to express your deep gratitude. Now as best as you can, try to embody your spirit's essence. Feel how your higher self experiences this moment as if you were merging with them. Grounded, calm, and clear. Now, if your ego is driving, gently invite them to step aside, allowing your spirit to take the lead. Notice how your ego reacts to this transition. Breathe deeply, fully embodying the presence of your spirit, and guide your ego to their ideal position, a supportive role in the passenger seat. Breathing, 
Recognize any resistance that comes from them and also notice any willingness to cooperate. These responses are valuable insights into your inner dynamics. If your ego is showing resistance, offer this part of you reassurance with these affirmations. You are safe. I am safe. You are safe. I am safe. You are safe. I am safe. As you mentally and energetically repeat these affirmations, let them resonate deeply within you. Allow them to bring a sense of calm and security to all parts of you. Now, have your spirit, you, settle into the driver's seat of your car. Even if your ego reacts with tension or uncertainty, reassure it that it has an essential role as passenger. There's no need to push it away. Every part of you has value and an important role to play. They're all meant to co-pilot. Continue to be as still as possible. See your spirit taking the wheel, putting the car in drive, and beginning to move forward on the road. Listen to anything that your ego and your spirit are saying. Take note of their feelings. Take note of what they are saying. And take note of any shifts in energy in your car. As the car and these parts of you move forward, feel the energy of moving away from any and all things that no longer serve you. Allow the embodiment of your spirit to help you give yourself permission to move away from stagnancy, to move away from insecurity, to move away from past versions of you to move away from patterns, mindsets, and behaviors that don't serve you where you are growing. And as you're driving, feel the energy of gratitude in your heart.
Breathe into this gratitude. Breathe into feeling safe to move forward. Breathe into your natural worthiness. Breathe into living with honesty, integrity, and bravery. Breathe into living through love and trust for yourself and your path. Honor that your car is always moving forward. You have the power to check in with it, to check in with your spirit and your ego whenever you need to. And if at any point you feel disconnected or disempowered, take a moment to tune in and reassess, making sure that your spirit is guiding your path. In your visualization, picture your spirit reaching over and holding your ego's hand to offer it comfort during the shift. Make time to acknowledge your ego, offering it understanding and compassion throughout your life. Reassure this part of you that it is safe as you continue on your journey as co-pilot. Although it's one of the less comfortable parts of our human experience, making time to recognize our fears, our challenges, and all that we've experienced serves our journey too and can help offer your ego comfort Letting these parts of you feel seen, heard, and respected, and helping you move forward with clarity, intention, and trust in your unique path. Inhale slowly and deeply, allowing your belly to rise and expand. And exhale deeply, allowing your belly to fall completely. Bring yourself back to that bright golden light of protection that you let expand through the universe and gently invite it to come back to you, making its way from the whole universe, the whole world, the country, the state, the city, and the street that you're on, and back to the space that you're in. With gratitude, inhale deeply, and with a deep exhale, Feel this light coming back into your being, back into your heart space. When you are ready, slowly start to move your body, coming back into the waking world. And when you are ready, you can open your eyes.
thank yourself deeply, your mind, your body, your spirit, and your ego for giving yourself this moment and allow me to thank you for your curiosity and dedication to expansion. I hope to connect with you again soon.